Let me see if I can bring the camera in a little closer to me. What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mob, coming at y'all to show you guys my dry, dull, lifeless, need-to-be-prayed-for hair. First of all, let me tell you guys something. I do pray for my hair. I've been praying for my hair ever since it started to fall out. Like, literally, I pray for my hair when I pray. I pray for my hair, too. Because my hair been going through things, so I feel like it deserves a prayer. You know, I mean, God said you have not because you ask not. So, I guess that include my hair, too. So, I'm going to include it in. He might not be listening, but he might be. So, you know, I'm just telling y'all what I do. So, you might need to go and pray for your hair a little bit if you have having hair trouble. I'm just saying, it might work. <laughs> If you believe, you shall receive. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to show you guys how I moist. It's time, y'all. Y'all know, y'all been watching me. Y'all know my hair been braided up for three months, and I ain't, and it been dry and dull and lifeless. If y'all seen my last bonnet video, uh, honey, my hair was a hot mess, but I was still working with what I got. But I knew it was time to wash it anyway, so I went ahead and did the video, even though my hair was looking a hot mess and ratchet. Okay, y'all, so my hands are hurting a little bit, you know, still from, you know, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, but anyways, we're going to move right along with the video. So I was just trying to explain these gloves because I know my new people who probably don't know who I am or what I've been through probably going to say why she got on those gloves because, you know, my hands was a little bit eh, this morning. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to moisturize my hair with. Um, I have two moisturizers that I use. Well, I have one moisturizer that I use faithfully. Um, it is a daily leave-in strengthener um, called, well, that's what it's called. <laughs> it's called Mega Growth Daily Leave-In Strengthener. Hold on, pause. Mm -hmm. Strike a pose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hey, hey, she killing it, oh. Yes, hey. Okay, that was my bunny. <laughs> yeah. Yes, y'all, this bunny is available on my website right now. If you look at the link in the description box, click on it and you can go purchase this bunny if you like it. It's called the Purse and Shoes Bunny. Okay. But anyways, this is called the Mega Growth Daily Leave-In Strengthener. And I usually use this on my, usually, usually use this on my hair every day. Uh, you know, I told you I was lacking because some days I don't feel good. I don't know why. I just want to feel good every day. But, I, hey, I just take the days I can get. You hear me? I take the days that I can get. The days that the Lord gives me, I take them and I run with them. You hear me? Okay, so, y'all see I can't do nothing with these gloves on. So, I'm going to put on some plastic gloves. That's just to protect the gloves that I have on or, you know, and also at the same time, it's probably good to use plastic gloves too for y'all sisters out there like me who don't got fingernails, but you might have little snags and stuff. So you won't snag through your hair when you, you know, when you manipulating your hair and stuff. Have another, you know, another shot of this bonnet before I reveal this mess. <laughs> okay, so my hair is dry, dry to the bone. I'm coming to y'all blood raw. I don't got to come to y'all cute all the time because y'all know we ain't cute all the time. You ain't either. You ain't cute all the time. Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> for real, for real. I don't wake up beat. Okay, so this is my hair. Okay, I took the bobby pin. I got these long bobby pins here. And, oh, yeah, this is what you're going to need, too. You can use some, um, you know, the butterfly clips or... Dragon clips or crocodile. I don't know what you call them, but I'm using these long um, bobby pins, which are called wrap bobby pins. They got a little curve to them. I guess people use them for their wrap, but I just found them in the store and I liked them. And I'm going to use those because the the butterfly clamps, sometimes when I clamp them on my hair, it gets stuck and I be snagging my hair. So I'm going to try to use those bobby pins. Hopefully, I will get better results 
But I'm going to just do my hair with my hands. No combs, no brush, no nothing. I'm strictly doing this to moisturize my hair before I shampoo my hair. Because I got to go. It's a lot of steps that I need to take before I can actually get to the shampoo process of my hair. And I'm going to break it down to you as I go. Video by video by video. So stay with me, okay? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hair. And I'm going to take my hands. Good Lord, Father God, I thank you. Y'all see my Y'all see my scalp? Do y'all see my scalp? How thick this hair is up in there. Like literally, it was bald. It was bald. I'm just, I'm just, just thankful to God right now that He allowed me to grow my hair back. So I'm just gonna take my hair and go down the middle with my hair. FYI, I am relaxed. Tech slacks, in case you guys don't know. In case you guys, in case I didn't already say that, I am tech slacks. Um. Mostly up here and relax mostly on my ends. So I'm going through like a transition phase. No, I said the wrong word because believe me, I'm not going natural unless God tell the people to stop making perms. You know, that's it. I don't want to hear it. No more discussions, you know, unless I got some other problem that I need to go relax for and I'm not um, because I can't handle it. So I'm just going to take my hair and go straight down the middle just like this. With my hands. What I'm doing is I'm creating a middle part. All the way down. And I'm just putting my hair into two sections. That's it. Two full sections of hair. So I'm using my fingers because my hair is so dry and, you know, easy to tangle up that I don't want to use a comb. If I use a comb, that would not be in my best interest because the way of my hair right now, I will lose a lot of hair. So I'm just going to take these two sides. Well, I'm just going to take that one side and pin it up. Then I'm going to go do the same thing down the middle of this side. Okay? I'm just going to take my fingers. And I'm trying to find a part. I can't even feel the roots of my hair. Like, I can't even feel my scalp. Um... Because that's just how thick it is. And no, Jesus, I'm not complaining. I'm just happy. And I'm just letting people know that my hair is thick. Okay? You know, I'm not complaining about having thick hair in my roots at all, Jesus. I'm just letting you know I'm not. Because I'm so thankful for every piece of thickness that I have. Y'all, y'all know I got, I got to let the Lord know. Because I keep saying, ooh, my hair thick. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Okay? So, I'm going to section that piece off with the bobby pin <sighs> yeah i feel like myself this morning besides the fact that my hands you know was bothering me when i woke up this morning my body feel good a lot of times when i tell y'all i don't feel good it's usually like in my body and in my head i get headaches and and my body just don't feel good i mean right now i have i'm having pain in my um in my hip in my hip, I'm having pain, but hey, I can't complain. I'm just letting you know. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know. So, anyways, I'm going to go to the side. I put that side in two sections. And I'm just going to two section this side as well. Honey, when I tell you this stuff, tangled up. It's real tangled up. I'm going to try to get to the scalp as close as I can. And, um, we're going to go and put it in four sections. So, try to be gentle with your hair if you got dry hair like me right now. And, uh, and don't let your hair get this dry, you know. Don't let your hair get this dry. Um, if you can help it, try not to let your hair get this dry as my hair is dry. Because you should be moisturizing, sealing your hair at least three times a week depending on, you know, how your moisture level or whatever. So, this is one section of my hair. I hope y'all still here with me. I'm trying to talk a little bit more because I notice I look back at my own videos and see how lame I've been. And I don't want to watch me either because I know my views was dropping down because y'all for some reason, not y'all that's watching, the other ones who ain't watching this video right now, they stopped watching me because 
because I'm not that interesting. You know, I'm just not. You know, I'm not that interesting unless I'm crying and complaining about something. But, you know, or, you know, something exciting. I ain't doing nothing. So, I'm just going to start putting this cream on my hair. I just start at the ends because these are my most fragile parts. This is the oldest part of my hair, which is my ends. And so, they are more prone to breakage because they're so old. Just imagine, my ends grew out of my scalp first. So, I have not had my hair for a couple of years without cutting it. Y'all see how thin that got? That's because my hair is relaxed. But I, I ain't no sweat because it thickens back up. You know, it started to get thick like right up in there. Um, but um, you think I'm going to chop my hair? You think I'm going to do a big chop? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, ma'am. Not to please you, 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 or you. Um, I'm just going to keep growing. I'm going to clip my ends as I go, and we're going to ride out with it like that. Everybody don't have to do a big chop to start over again. Some people do. A lot of people just big chop for nothing because I've been watching big chop videos. I don't know why. Not because I'm going to do a big chop because I, I am not. But I like to see people chop over their hair. I guess I just like the thrill of them chopping it off. But a lot of y'all big chop girls done turned into little chop girls. Why is that? I click on the video and y'all say, I'm about to do a big chop. And then y'all get y'all hair all wet and moisturized, ready to cut. And then y'all chop it like right here. That's not a big chop. A big chop is when you get your scissors and go way up yonder and say clap and then all of this just fall off. That excites me. <laughs> I be like, girl, why you did that? I was just tired. I was just tired. And then what the thing about it is, I be seeing natural girls do big chops. Like, okay, I thought big chops was for people who had relaxed hair and that they try to cut the relaxed ends off, damaged ends off, or maybe color treated hair that was, you know, the color has damaged it, but why are you doing a big chop if you ain't got no damaged hair? What's the point of that? I don't know. You know, maybe that's your preference, but I know I ain't about to be big chopping off my hair for the YouTube, just so y'all want to see the video, and I be like, and they be like, oh my god, I feel so good. And then some of them have like the third big chop. Why are you big chopping three times? What happened to the first time? Did you, did you mess up? Okay, the second time, okay, maybe, because you messed up the first time. But the third big chop, come on. What's really going on? Tell me what the gag is, you know. So, um, all these big chops are unnecessary to me. I don't, I don't understand. I think if you big chop the first time, you better get it right. Okay, number two, okay, first time, you not might have made a mistake and didn't do what you were supposed to do. Second time, okay, cool. But third time, come on now. Some of y'all is just be doing too much for YouTube. Okay, so now my hat is nice and moisturized. Look, shout out to Profective Daily Leave in Strengthener. This is what I use. Uh, see, I'm using a lot right now because I'm getting ready to shampoo my hair. And I'm going to need to be able to get down to my scalp. Normally, when I do it daily, when I do it daily, I don't slather it in here like this. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm just doing this so that way I can get down to my roots. You hear me? Get down to my roots. My roots, my roots, my roots. You know? I miss myself being this way. I miss this. I miss this go mouth right here. I miss the go mouth that talk too much. Who need to shut up? I miss her. Because lately, I look back at my videos, and I see what y'all see. You know, I see what you guys see. And my views drop, which ain't no thing, which ain't no big deal. But I just, you know, I don't want y'all to, like, lose interest in me because I ain't talking about nothing. You know? There's always something to talk about as long as I'm living. There's something to talk about because the real ain't stopped. So it's always something to talk about. You know, the birds was flying out, you know, outside this morning. And it was real cold. I seen them shaking and stuff. You know, it's always something to talk about. I got my vanity lights on here. And they so bright. And there's two bulbs in my vanity that's actually blowing. I mean, I just thought y'all needed to know that because it was something to talk about, you know. And so I'm just going to moisturize all four sections of my hair. And I'm going to come back to y'all unless y'all want to talk to me. Y'all want to talk? How about I moisturize another section and just keep on talking to y'all about stuff? Okay. My bonnet sales have been... Very good, and I just want to thank all of you guys who purchased the bonnet yesterday. Listen, everybody who purchased the bonnet yesterday, which was Friday, um, see how thick that is? Until I put this on there, which was Friday, January the fifth, or is it the fifth or the fourth or fifth? January the fifth. Everybody who ordered the bonnet on January the fifth, order was sent out. Listen to me. When I tell y'all I don't play about shipping because I know how I, f I know how it feels when you want your stuff shipped to you a as fast as you know as as it can can come. Um so I know because I order stuff 
and I want it to ship to me as fast as I can get it. I don't want to be waiting two and three weeks for no product to come to me um, just to get my stuff. You know, I'm like, dang, where's that? Where, what's up, my nigga? What's good? Where my stuff at? You know, I ordered my stuff way back in November 1996, and I'm just, it's 2017. I ain't got my stuff yet, and I ain't got no refund. What's good? <laughs> that's how I be feeling, you know. I'm just saying, that's just a figure of speech. I'm just acting up, y'all. Um, so, I'm slathering this stuff in my hair. I know y'all say, why you putting all of that in your hair if you finna wash it out? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm finna do. I need to be able to get down to these roots, okay? So, I gotta do what I need to do to get down to these here roots, a.k.a. scalp, okay? Already known as my scalp. My grandma call it the roots. That's what she call it. And so, um... Just moisturizing it, and we're going to let it soak, you know. I got that side good and moisturized. Um, I'm not going to immediately wash this out, but this is what I, I'm going to do now. This is not something that I usually do before wash day, um, but since my hair was so, so, so dry. Um, listen here, if you get jumping your behind in the shower and you ain't detangled your hair or nothing, I got to prepare to get a shampoo or dip your head under that kitchen sink, honey, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. It's going to be matted up and your detangling process is going to take you forever because you have there um, since locked your hair um, just by putting water on it because our hair we ain't got hair that flows like that relaxed or not relaxed it's not just going to just whoosh, you know it ain't just going you ain't going to be able to run your fingers through it even if you got to relax so when it when it comes to water honey um you're going to need to do a pre-detangle um, or you don't necessarily got to do a pre-poo but you're going to need to have some type of so a semi bit of moisture in your hair and not to be tangled up um, like mine is. My hair is kind of like I can't put my fingers in it. Now if my hair to the point that I can't put my fingers in it, when I do put water on it, it's going to say, you know, it's going to, you know, just it, it shampoo all of the, the moisture out of my hair because you know when you use like, um, a sulfate free shampoo not a sulfate free shampoo a, a shampoo that got sulfates in it because that's what I'm getting ready to use because I want to um I want to make sure my hair is really clean before I get it braided back up and all of that stuff so I'm going to be using like uh I forgot the name of it but I'll show y'all in my next video because I'm going to be doing my shampoo process in my next video but um I'm just getting prepared to go back up under the braids and you know we're gonna get it crack a lacking again with the braids that I'm gonna be rocking. The braids that I'm gonna be rocking. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to get my hair braided back up again. Y'all see do y'all see the thickness in my roots? Y'all see the thickness that the Lord God has given me if in my roots. <sighs> you know. And I just and I had this oh, I'm happy to have thickness. I'm happy to not have bald spots, okay? That's what I'm happy about. I'm happy to not have bald spots. See, when I really had bald spots, for real, for real, for real, I was too ashamed to come on camera because my mental was messed up. I wasn't mentally prepared to be a lot of videos that I did my mental was messed up sometimes my mentality is messed up right now you know it goes back and forth it all depends on what how I wake up in the morning I guess but I don't know but anyways when I did have full on ball spots I didn't show you guys because I just I was just like no I was so depressed that you know I just couldn't come to y'all like that so but now now that I have actually gone through what I've been through if I ever ever have to I'm not ashamed I'll just put it like that I'm not ashamed of the things that I've been through because if I didn't have to go through anything then how else I'm gonna learn how else I'm gonna be a better me you know a good person has been through some things a bad person probably ain't been through them yet to make them be a better person I don't know I'm just saying you know because I feel like all the things that I've been through now has made me just saying I wasn't a bad person before, but it, it, it has made me a better person. I have a softer heart. I got a weak heart now, y'all. <laughs> Not a weak heart, but you know, I be feeling sorry for the homeless people. I be feeling sorry for any cancer patient that walk this earth now. But before, I feel sorry for people before, but it's not like an extra sensitivity because I have gone through it and I can feel your pain a little bit. And I, I 
feel bad for the slightest little thing. If somebody, you know, walking down the street and they look like they got on dirty clothes, I'd be like, oh. And then I look in the mirror at myself and I'd be looking like ratchet. And I'm saying, oh, I don't feel sorry for me because my hair ain't done. But I just be feeling, I'm so sensitive, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I learned to appreciate the little things in life, like for real. I'm just glad I got a toilet to go pee in when I feel like I got to pee, you feel me? So, you know, just learn to be thankful for a lot of stuff. You, you know, when you go through stuff, you learn to be thankful for the smallest little things that you probably weren't even thinking about that you needed to be thankful for before in life. I'm thankful that I got eggs in my refrigerator that I'm going to go eat in a few minutes. You know, I'm just thankful to have them. I wasn't thankful for my eggs before. I ain't never thought about being thankful for having eggs in my refrigerator. But now, I just thank God that I got eggs in my refrigerator. Boy, for real. Just little stuff. I'm not saying I'm just thankful for eggs, but I'm thankful for eggs. For real. Some people ain't got eggs in their refrigerator. Everything comes to my head like <laughs> everything comes to my head. Like for real, for real. That that I'm just glad. I'm just glad to be breathing this morning, being able to talk to you guys and feel happy and actually smile. You smiling? Y'all smiling with me? I know some of y'all don't like my smile because I got jack duck teeth and I got overbite and I got book teeth and everything, but cheese. <laughs> Did you smile? Is you still watching? Did you smile? Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah. yeah, I'm so happy this morning um, because I just am. My hands are really hurting me right now. You know, it probably don't seem like it, but, you know, a lot of times I try not to complain. Do y'all know that I personally made those bonnets? Each one of them, piece, like, I made all of them. It's, I'm so surprised at myself by making such, look at it, look at this, look at this. You see that right there? You can see through it now? Like, that's just all the new growth I got. Let me show y'all how. Let me show y'all. Let me let me up. Get up again and show you guys. This this the back of my hair. You know. No, I'm not topping my house to satisfy you, 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 or you. No, I'm not. We're gonna clip my ends and we're gonna keep it moving and we're gonna grow from this point forth and forevermore, okay? We're gonna clip ends when needed. Don't be chopping your hair off if you don't need to chop it. I mean, unless you just want short hair. I personally don't want short hair. I want long, relaxed hair. Not that I like straight hair better, but my hair is easier for me to manage and I have less headaches dealing with my uh, relaxed hair. And even just because I like a relaxer. I do. I do. I know a lot of natural people. Natural people. I know it's a lot of y'all that watch me. I love y'all. I love natural hair. I watch natural hair videos. My sister is natural. My other sister is going natural. Both of my daughters are natural. Um, a lot of my family has natural hair. I ain't, I ain't mad at it. Most of the people in my family don't went natural. You know, my mama's still relaxed. A lot of people say, oh, what's going to happen to your hair when you get old? Check this out. My mama, she foxy. She is 60-something years old. I forgot how old she is, but she just had a birthday, so she might be around 62, 63. Oh, Lord, mama don't kid me. But anyway, she relaxed, and her hair looks good. It's all silver. Or has all silver, all gray, and but she is relaxed. A lot of people say, "Oh, when you get old, you're relaxed, so you know it start your hair start falling out." No, my mama got a full head of hair at sixty something years old, and she is relaxed. She relaxed. I'm, you know, in the text lax phase because I like for my hair to be a little bit fuller. I don't like it to be bone straight. But I don't like it natural. So I know a lot of people are like, yeah, you need to go natural. No, I need to, I need, you need to mind your business. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. You need to mind your business, okay? You be natural, I be relaxed. When they stop making relaxers, then I be natural, okay? But I'm going to be natural with a good old screaming comb. Listen, y'all, I was having fun talking to you guys today. Now, my hair is all moisturized. I'm going to let this sit, and we're just going to let it sit it out. And then, I'm gonna when I do my, uh, 
wash my hair. I'm tired, y'all. I don't talk too much. You need to shut up. But anyways, y'all, I'm really enjoying this video right now. So just let me enjoy the moment because I never know what tomorrow may bring. So I'm going to live for today, okay? So right now, today, while I'm still alive, let me tell y'all, I will be back to show you guys the process of me shampooing my hair, okay? So that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye. Oh, my hands hurt so bad. Okay, bye. Bye.